Welcome back traders. This is our gold weekly review. My name is Angelo Zittis and for this week our title is gold stays at high levels. Gold traders seemed rather inactive on Monday as the precious metal had reached the new yearly high in the previous sessions. Yet gold traders could be saving energy and equity for upcoming events and adding to that the US Labor Day may have given a pass to the metal's volatility. Our first point is geopolitical matters are here to stay. To start with, the geopolitical matters do not seem to be leaving us in September. In fact, most market participants believe they could intensify further due to a restart of the trade war negotiations on the US sign of front, but also the FOMC meeting on the 18th of September. Traders should make a note of the upcoming FOMC meeting as a change in interest rates could significantly affect gold prices and this will be discussed in later reports. Our point after that is greenback moves higher. The greenback, a major factor to gold's volatility, indeed moved higher yesterday, but no much reaction was observed on bullion prices. Yet the fact that the USD index, DXY, has reached yearly highs yesterday, mounting since the previous week, gives further reason for investigation. Traders may have found reason to buy the US dollar in effect of the new tariffs placed on Chinese products during the past weekend. According to a Bloomberg report, the US directly rejected the Chinese side request to delay these tariffs. This indicates the US was and still is the dominant force in the trade wars and can make decisions when and however it chooses to. In our view, this could be signaling a bullish reaction for the greenback traders. On the contrary, in some cases, the USD weakened when tensions arose in the past. Yet, the difference with the current situation could be that tensions are somewhat subdued at the moment. Furthermore, even though the new tariffs may have already been digested by the financial markets, demand for the USD has increased significantly. The effect on gold may be more evident today in the US session and in the rest of the week. Yet, even if some fundamentals are driving demand for the greenback higher at the moment, separate gold, gold drivers could be pulling up the precious metal to reach higher levels, so we would advise caution when measuring the two instruments against each other. From a different perspective, other analysts believe the US dollar is moving higher, as other currencies are weakening due to uncertain economic conditions in various parts of the world which has resulted in greater demand for the greenback. Then our point comes to suspicious safe haven activity. Looking at safe haven instruments in the previous days, we have come across strange market action, which is worth mentioning. First, gold moved in a rather sideways motion, not making wide swings and remained in the same price range as last week. On the other hand, the JPY strengthened and the CHF had weakened. Now, of course, the reasons could be numerous, covering different parts of the world, yet we can reach to some conclusion by the different reaction each one had. Gold's inactive trading could be indicating not much has changed from a risk sentiment perspective as it maintained its price level since the 26th of August and various analysts expected to move even higher. Affirming the pre-mentioned statement, reports indicate money managers added to their long positions of gold during the previous week. On the flip side, we must not rule out a possible correction to take place on gold prices as the precious metal has been moving higher for four consecutive months as this makes the precious metal unpredictable for its next move. As a closure, we would like to point out to gold traders that the next main event for gold could prove to be the release of the U.S. employment report for August on Friday. Gold traders should be aware that the upcoming U.S. non-farm payrolls could make the case for strong volatility, yet the overall economic picture coming from Europe and China may provide the case for gold to remain at higher levels. Moving now to our technical analysis, this, this is gold's daily chart. Gold is currently trading very near our R1 1530 resistance level. If gold is to move even higher, the next stop could be at our R2 1550 and even higher we could see the R3 1570 level. In the opposite direction, a downside movement 
could send gold to the S1500 round number level with the next possible stop being at our S2 1485 and then could be the S3 1470 level. Below our chart is the RSI indicator which has been moving for some time now on the 70 level and this implies an overcrowded long position. Now this could prove to be tricky for traders decision making and various analysts include the idea that gold could shoot up much higher in anticipation to upcoming events. We on the other hand would like to keep a more conservative outlook and keep our pre-mentioned levels in mind. Traders must be aware that keeping a clear mind detached from the general public opinions can give you more options and flexibility with your trades. If you've heard something in this report that you found useful, make sure you apply it to your trading. That's the whole point. From everyone here at INFX, we wish to you solid trading and we'll see you soon.